England is a virtual police state where an aunt can get lost, literally, in Wordsworth poems. Militant Baconians roam freely spreading the gospel that Bacon, not Shakespeare, penned those immortal works, and forging Byronic verse is a punishable offence. This is all business as usual for brainy, bookish, and heat packing Thursday next. A renowned special operative in literary detection. That is, until someone begins murdering characters from works of literature. Good day, readers and listeners, and welcome to this, another episode of Tom's Rapid Reviews, where each week I take a few minutes to read out a book review written by one of our fabulous Surrey Library staff. I give you a bit of background and context surrounding the book and its author. I talk about what I think, and it's all done in the hope that you might be inspired to try reading or listening to something new this week. Uh, so without further ado, let's celebrate Women's History Month once more by digging into The Air Affair. The Air Affair is a thriller written by Jasper Ford in 2003. But as you may have gathered from its blurb, it's no ordinary thriller. The book takes inspiration from a wide range of literary sources and establishes an absurdist sci-fi world where works of prose can be entered and world-famous fictional characters can be killed off. The protagonist is named Thursday Next and is a capable, academic and determined woman, which is why I've chosen it for this week's review, uh, which was written by me. I read this book uh, the first in the Thursday Next series some years ago and was pleased to revisit it for this review. Let's turn now to my review proper. I've enjoyed the work of Jasper Ford for a number of years now, first having been introduced to the Nursery Crimes Division series in my teens. That series remains my favourite, but if I was forced to admit it, I'd have to say that the Thursday Next series, of which The Air Affair is the first, is the better uh, written series. In this book, Ford crafts a world both unique, clever, and a little bit absurd. He belongs, I feel, to a long line of British absurdists like Spike Milligan, Monty Python, and Terry Pratchett, who we've talked about a little bit before. But within this absurdity and humour lies a competent and enjoyable thriller. A uh, literary thriller, in fact. It takes some effort to keep up with, especially with all the metatextual travelling between literary worlds, but the characters and the humour help to make it worthwhile. Based then on my recollection of the air affair and the enjoyment it gave me, I'd like to give it 4.5 out of 5. So if you think you'd enjoy the air affair, what else can I recommend you? Well, for starters, there's the rest of Ford's work. The Air Affair is the beginning of a seven-book series, which, if my brief internet research is to be believed, will be an eight-book series within the next couple of years. Furthermore, there's the aforementioned Nursery Crimes Division series, which begins with The Big Over Easy, a police procedural investigating the death of one Mr. Humpty Dumpty. Ford is also responsible for the Shades of Grey series, uh, the young adult oriented Last Dragon Slayer series, uh, which, like the Thursday Next series, features a female protagonist, and the standalone novels Early Riser and The Constant Rabbit. All of these books can be borrowed from Surrey Libraries. As it's Women's History Month, my other recommendation feels particularly appropriate. And that recommendation is the Chronicles of St Mary's series by Jodie Taylor. A book series written by a woman and starring a female historian. The series of novels and short stories follow a group of historians who investigate the past, quite literally, as they travel through time, trying, and usually fail, to avoid disaster. These books can also be borrowed from Surrey Library. That, I think, is all from me this week, readers. If you've enjoyed this video, please do consider liking it and subscribing to the Surrey Library's YouTube channel. For now, though, stay safe, borrow books, 
Have a very happy Women's History Month, and I'll see you next time for more of Tom's Rapid Reviews.